hello and welcome to this part of gatling this is going to be very interesting today we are going to learn about the gatling simulation script and do not worry if you are a complete beginner i will start from scratch and we will go up step by step you can follow this on windows or mac operating systems and you will also find all the notes in the description below the video there will also be a timeline just in case you want to jump to any of the section and after watching the video you can take the gatling quiz i will add the link to the quiz in the description of the video so today we are going to learn about Gatling simulation what is simulation in Gatling and we will see the different parts of the Gatling simulation script this is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's get started and let us first see what is simulation in Gatling so simulation or simulation script in Gatling has the description of the load test and it is written in the form of a script so all the description of your load test all the configuration all the scenarios will be there and this will be in a script it can be written in java scala or kotlin and if you have seen the earlier parts when we open our gatling recorder so let me just open the gatling recorder and show you and if i go to my gatling folder and go to the bin folder and open my recorder you can open from the project as well so you can see here in the gatling recorder we give the package name we give the class name and then we do the recording and here you can see the format so we can convert this recording in uh, to a gatling simulation script and we can select the language here it can be in scala or java or kotlin so we have all these options and in the gatling simulation script we have the scenarios they can be one or more scenarios we have the http configurations we have the user load configurations and all these different components in a moment i will show you all the components so uh, in case you open any of your gatling simulations uh, if i just go to any of the earlier simulation scripts we have recorded i will go to the user files section and we have simulations folder here and you can see all these earlier recorded simulations and if you go to your project uh, we have already created a project as well so you can also see the simulation scripts in the project as well so here in the project you will find it under the src folder test folder scala and you can see here we have a package and we have all these different simulation scripts so you can see here or you can just open any of your earlier simulation scripts from here uh, let me just go to this simulation script and this is written in scala and let me just open this uh, so you can open in any editor or any ide let me open it with sublime text so it will be easy to view and you can see this is the gatling simulation script and this one is in scala it can be in J java or kotlin as well and you can see different sections in the simulation script so here uh, this is what a gatling simulation script is and it consists of all the all our load test description and we have different parts in the gatling simulation script so we have the package at first you will get the package and the package name can come from your recorder as well if you are doing a recording and if you provide a package name in your gatling recorder it will be there in the script and you can also provide the class name here and you can also create this script manually as, as well or you can get it generated through recorder or can also create it manually so let us see the different parts we have package which is optional then we have imports which are required and then we have the class declaration let me show you this in the script itself so if i go here and you can see at top there is a package and this is optional so i will write it here package which is optional if you do not give the package name it will not be here and then we have the import section so this is the imports and this is very important and when you generate your gatling script or gatling simulation you will get all these imports and do not change this do not uh, you know edit these imports these are very important if you change this it can break something in the script so these are the required imports and then we can see here is the class declaration so this is the class declaration here our you can see this is the class declaration here and this is the class name login test and it always extends the simulation class 
so we have this and then you can see some configurations here so we have seen package imports class declaration then we will have the common configuration which will be implemented for all the requests and then we will also have some base url and some http headers in the common configuration so you can see here this is the common configuration uh, let me just say yeah this is so I think I have lost the connection let me just wait for the connection to be restored all right so yes so this is the common configuration for the HTTP requests here and here we can see uh, this is the base URL and this will be prepended to all the HTTP requests and we can see some headers here all these are the common configurations so all these are here and then we will have the scenario definition and we can have one or more scenarios in a simulation script so until here we have seen packages imports class declaration and common configuration which has base url and headers etc uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and look at it multiple times so you will always remember all these different components now let me scroll down and here you can see some header maps in the earlier parts we have seen that these are optional if you want you can remove them as well and after these header maps we will have the scenario declaration and yes you can see here we have the scenario declaration so here you can see this is the scenario and this is the variable used and the same variable will be used at the end to provide the configuration so you can see at the end although I will tell you in a moment you can see here SCN dot inject and then whatever is the protocol used so here it is using HTTP protocol which is coming from here let me show you if I scroll all the way up so this is the protocol given to that particular scenario and this is how it is done and let me again go to the scenario declaration so here we have scenario declaration then we have uh, HTTP requests and the request URL and other details and pause and think time so here let me show you we have this scenario declaration then here we have the request name and you can change this as well so request name will be displayed in the reports and you can change these request names if you want to by default if you are doing a recording these request names will be generated like this request underscore zero request underscore one and so on and this is the URL so this is the URL where it goes this particular request goes similarly in this case you can see this is the request name and this is the URL and the base URL will be prepended to this particular URL and you can see other details about the request so in this case it was a login scenario so you can see the username and passwords as well here so all this is here and then uh, if I scroll a little down you can see some pause times as well so when you are recording whatever pauses you are taking it gets recorded here so this can be uh, seen as think time as well between the requests and this mimics the actual user behavior so you can change this as of now it is nine seconds if you want you can change these and these are also recorded when we record a gatling scenario so we have seen all this and then at the end you will see the setup method which is mandatory where we give the the, the load of the users so if I scroll all the way down you can see here you will find the setup method and this is important here you can see here it has used SCN which is coming for this particular scenario so you can see SCN is the variable used here for this particular scenario and then it will add the configuration to this scenario so it has added this HTTP protocol configuration and then here we give the user load and they can be multiple scenarios so you can see I can have scenario 1 scenario 2 and so on and we can add the we can add different configuration or different HTTP configuration or we can add the same HTTP configuration to all these scenarios so 
this is how we can do it we can also add some hooks we can uh, say what should be the at the beginning what should be at the end so all this we can do and then we can attach different configuration to the scenarios as we have seen so these are the different parts of a Gatling simulation script as of now we have seen a very simple simulation script and we have seen the basic parts in the coming sessions we will go a little more deeper and we will create different types of scenarios and scripts and we will see some more parts of the Gatling simulation script now you can take the quiz if you have completed this part and I will see you in the next part thank you for watching and never stop learning